right, so the situation is the following. This table is a fucking mess, and I need to clean it up and get some work done. So, yeah, it's it's literally disastrous. It's supposed to be a black cable, and the minute it touches the table, it, it, it just gets completely splattered in dust, right? So the thing is, <clears throat> there's no way I'm moving these twice to clean some dust, right? And so I've been having these for quite a while. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll basically have to take all of these apart. This is gonna be a very pointless video where I take a bunch of these apart. And it would be nice towards the end if we can get one to charge and um, actually check its uh, current rating, check how much current it actually puts in this resistor. Because I've always been curious what kind of wattage these pull. Can't be too much, right? These cells are what? Uh, what are they? Let's change lens. Uh, 550, right? So they're not bad, but nothing amazing. So I think I'll time lapse through a bunch of these. And, uh, and then we'll get back. Have I lost my mind? Is this ridiculous? And check the currents. Sounds fine. All right. All right, so I've got 10 of the simple ones, which are five, 500, 550 milliamp hours, and then I have two big boys. So these are a bit more. These cost, uh, think round about what seven eight euros and these are like more like 12 or something I'm, I'm really not sure i uh, highly advise against buying these shits because they are extremely wasteful and yeah, just get a proper vape and uh, the vaping community is pretty cool everywhere i think although yeah if not ever so slightly snobbish but they do have a lot of mods and crap and aromas and cool music in the stores and <clears throat> what have you so 3.15 watt hours doesn't give doesn't give uh, milliamp hours but that should be around 750 and i don't know at some point i'll do something with these metal tubes but uh, at the moment i'm just accruing a serious batch of them so let's see what this is. All right. And it does smell very pleasing here now. All right, and this is 900. Yeah, it's probably 900 as well. Yeah, so... Um, at this point, I'll choose the most full one. Uh, so I'm thinking, right, this looks a bit full, quite full. And I'll just charge it up. And uh, we'll do a smoke test by just uh, burning this up, uh, sucking on this, right? And just measuring the current on one of these wires. So that should give us quite some readings. Right? Actually, we could tap into both and just get some watts as well with the power monitor. I don't think it should exceed its uh, measuring abilities, but we'll see. All right, so that being said, I'll just get to charging this and uh, we'll continue from there. Yeah, all right, so now that's charged up, we can get to hooking up <clears throat> our measurement so 45 milliamp hours into this mm, seems yeah quite quite reasonable it's supposed to have 550 but first of all it maybe wasn't discharged completely first of all and second of all we did charge it quite aggressively i'm not sure if that should really decrease 
the amount of power we can put into it of charge, but yeah, I don't know. Looks fine, right, overall. And we did finish the charge quite early. It stopped at, what was it, 4.1 something, anyway. Um, let's um, splice into this. So first of all, I'll, I'll take my uh, wires off. Fact. And this always has this initializing routine. It blinks three times. So that's nice. A lot of stuff going on that uh, pressure sensing microphone capsule type deal. All right. So get these out of the way. And uh, where do we splice in? I don't want to see where this is going, so... This is going in like this. Okay, so we can get basically our current over here. And I'll um, just get a bit more copper exposed over here. And also on this side. All right, and then what do we have to do? So we will want, first of all, to hit this into um, Reset the maximum current, maximum voltage. And uh, yeah, I suppose we, why isn't this working? All right, the maximum was, was already set. All right, so actually, yeah, as far as I remember, this constantly records the maximum. So we could just look at these values, which are a lot nicer to look at. And on this side, we'll get the negative for the voltage measurement. So just uh, hijack this off the power supply. And we'll want this on the negative. So over here. Yeah, that looks fine. And then I'll want two of these um, XT60 to... Uh, as I was saying, we'll need another XT60 interconnect fabric. Um, I don't know how I can call these. Plugs. And uh, yeah, we'll just be using the positive side whilst making sure the negative is roughly out of sight. And uh, I don't think it matters which direction these are in. And I think now we should get um, get some values. All right, so. I've also thought of how to actually trick the um, trick the thing. And I think I have a good idea, but I'll be right back. All right, so I have these 10 year old plastic straws, which I've been saving up. And we should allow me to also read the values and not stick my head in the camera all the way. So let's see. Should pull a decent vacuum on this. All right, everything in shot. Good, so. So six watts, all right. Yeah, not bad. All 
Yeah, how hot do these wires get? Not very. Let's see again. Okay, you can see it actually does disconnect the load periodically, probably to check the level of the battery and to disconnect in case uh, it's it's gone too low. Let's see that again. So they also have an LED which blinks, uh, which, which turns on as far as I remember when you suck on these. And it is PVM'd, right? So it does turn on and off slowly. I mean, this is just amazing what they got into this. Yeah, not bad. I mean, I'm I'm quite impressed. And I finally put to rest the question of what exactly happens when, when these are on. Uh, what do I want to do now? I think I want to check the battery voltage and see how low that goes when we're actually drawing power. So uh, let's quickly connect, connect the load, connect the resistor. Oh, and by the way, what, what kind of resistance is this? We could probably do the math, but <clears throat> let's be lazy. Yeah, it looks like 3.7. Yeah, so let's look at how much the um, cell voltage dips under 1.7 amps, which is uh, 3C. Not not anywhere near uh, RC territory, right? So the RC people with the drones and whatnot will go way more aggressive on their batteries. So yeah, let's have this here. Oh yeah, by the way, let's check the max. It's 1.8, yeah, so 6.22 watts. Mm. Yeah, decent. Let's uh, just check the voltage one last time. And let's suck on them again. Yeah, could probably even uh, compute the internal resistance with this, although... No, yeah, we actually could, right? Because these are as close to the battery as possible and not going through any of these thin wires. Yeah. Yeah, I've fake vaped about like five lungfuls. So I think I'm done. If you have any thoughts on this, let me know down in the comments. And definitely uh, help me out and uh, scavenge as much of these as possible because it really is a damn shame, right? throwing all these lithium ion cells away. For example, this power monitor would be using four of these to have exactly the same capacity as, as it has now, right? So 2000 milliamp hours. Which, yeah, these, these would get, get like super thrown away. I don't know, it's a damn shame. Anyway, that's been it. I'll stop talking. Have a good one.